Welcome to our next episode. In this episode, we will be seeing what are the services, in what various ways and what are the scenarios where we have to use the services. So talking about services, services are basically the class. Okay. Consider a scenario where you need some particular logic or code that that is going to be needed in multiple component or, or a function which is going to return any particular value upon passing some parameters. Okay. Or in another case, we can say like HTTP calls. So when we communicate with the services, that kind of code we can keep in the service. Okay. And suppose like some master service is there and you are going to need that master kind of data in two or three components. Okay. So rather than writing HTTP client call in all the three components, you can keep that code into your service and then use that code into your all three different components. So this gives you reusability of code. Okay, and a better way of handling code also. Suppose in some further days you want to make some changes in the API call or any type of change. So you just have to do at the one place only. So you don't have to do at the all the three components where you have you are making that HTTP call. Okay, so this is the example which uh, we'll be seeing. So if you have seen my previous video, we have done this. Uh, let's me show you what we are doing. Let me refresh a bit. So in network call, you can see I'm making a call to the JSON placeholder mock service and that is giving me the response of 10 users. Same that I am showing it here. So for this, what I have done. So this was the component which we have created earlier. So let me show you like this HTTP client call. Okay, so I have created the service in my component only. Okay, and same HTTP gate call, HTTP post call, everything I have made in the component only. So we can put this code into my service and then use it that function over here. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. So to create a service, we have a simple command as I have pulled, already created one service. Command is ng generate. Let's say g service then your service name let's say user if i click on it these are the two files which are which will be created user.service and user.service.spec.ts so spec.ts is nothing but uh, extra file which will get created with the, all the angular commands same as component or everything just for the testing purpose and this is the main file which we'll have okay so after running this command you will get this kind of file okay now let's see let me zoom a bit So this is the basic structure you are going to get. So as I have told you, like service is nothing but a class. Okay, it has the decorator injectable. So injectable is the decorator which denotes that this class is type of the service provided in root means this service is available to all the application throughout the, all the application. Okay, then again, this is a class. So we will have a constructor. So first thing, let's, we are creating a user service. So what are the API calls we have seen in our user component that all API call we are going to move to our user service. Okay, this is our objective. So what we did here, first we need HTTP call object, HTTP client service object. So we are going to make that private the client client okay so we have created an object now object of the service http client okay next thing we need certain api calls right so we can create first function like get all user okay so this is a function in this function we can write our logic this dot http client dot get and our api url is this is our url which returns us the list of users same we are going to pass into that okay and what we need to do we need to return whatever the data we get from this api okay so we can use the return statement okay this is 
what we have done first we have created instance of http client service then we have created a function get all user it what is doing it is nothing but returning the response we get from this api endpoint okay second thing what we need to do we need to make this function as an observable return type will be any okay so now for this function it is not a normal function it is a function which is returning data of type observable so observable if you don't know i will be creating a detailed video in some coming days like what are the observable how it is different with the promise we have we used to do with the plain javascript okay so observable is nothing but this function is returning object in the form of observable okay so we are actually returning the data but we are returning the data in observable object okay so if any function is returning data and its return type is observable okay so this function is done like uh, our service like get service call is done now the next thing in user component like in user component we have made the object of http client so we don't need to do that now we need to create an instance of user service let me add import let's rename this user service okay so wherever we have now make the what you can say api called with the http call http client now we need that let me remove this line of code so instead of this dot user service then we have to make get all user this is a function and we can subscribe to this function okay we are able to subscribe because this function is returning data of type observable that is why we are subscribing to it so observable and the subscription means just like a satellite satellite is continuously emitting data and our tv box are receiving that data so this is kind of a satellite which will be continuously emitting whatever the response we get from this api and this is the function where we are receiving the data okay and whatever the data it sends we get it in the result section okay and that again we are storing to the whatever the variable we have let's add a debugger just for understanding or no let's comment everything because we didn't we don't have no http object so it will show error Okay, let's add a debugger here also. It is a good practice to add debugger and check everything for the first time, especially for the beginners who have just started, so they can check like how things work. When you add the debugger, you get to know the flow. Okay, so let's see when I'm going to the user master, what is the first thing? So first ng on init function gets called, then it is going to the user list because we have called the user list function. We are going into that then from user list where we are going to the user service and of specific function get all user so once i click on the continue you can see i am in the user service now then in user service actually we have made the api call using http client okay so once we made the call and once we get the response again we have sent back the result using return keyword so again in the user master component we got the result okay so same thing we have done it instead of making the direct api call from your component we have put that logic into your service okay so the advantage is like the same code is in your user service but if you are if like say another component or another two or three components are going uh, are there and which are again needing the same type of data okay so rather duplicating that same uh, http call code into all three components we have migrated that to our user service okay now the again benefit is suppose like in some time this url gets changed okay so you just have to make changes to this particular point if this code was in all three components you have to make that changes to all three components okay so this is reusability okay one more extra thing i will show you 
since we don't have interface we haven't created a created interface for this like we, every time you can see any any is there let's create an interface so this is the object which we get let me copy paste so this is a single object we have a json to ts site okay if we put json here it will gives us the what you can say class for what uh, typescript class interface so you can see interface is there let's create this interface into our model user.ts is there okay i think we have already have that id no that is different one so i user so i stands for interface okay we are not going to need the address so let's put it as any company also we are not going to need so this interface we can use in our components so instead of user list which was declared with any we can keep it as like that and we have to add the input statement also so what this gives us so this gives us a strong typing strong data typing okay now <clears throat> so if you can see the user list this object it is also returning the data type of any but here also you can provide that this function is returning data type data of type we have to add the add user here and next thing before get also for this also we have to specify like what type of data i am going to get same we need to add in here also okay so now you know like this function is going to return data of type i user okay so what is what is the benefit now suppose let's say we have user object class is there okay and i am trying to store user object kind of data here okay for user list i have added data of type user object okay instead of this also what we need to do to use i user So now you can see the error like that function is returning data of type i user okay but user list is having a data what we can say data type of user object so this is strongly type data typing if you have common service which is returning data type of with particular model or interface okay so all the functions which are receiving that data they should be bind with this particular interface only then only they will be access, um, they will be allowed to store uh, what you can say catch the data what we are sending okay so instead of using any everywhere you can create class or the interface and you can make it to make a strongly type data typing okay so it is kind of a good way or a best practice way while you program your code okay so this is everything what we should know about the services okay so before angular 6 is go it was mandatory to add user service what are the services we create in the <coughs> provider section but after angular 6 it is not necessary okay